Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Hub. In this video, I am going to discuss about the structure of epithelia and the basement membrane. This is representing epithelia, this is basement membrane and this is the underlying connective tissue located below the basement membrane. So first of all, we will discuss the epithelia. The characters of epithelium are the cells are closely arranged or placed. Because of this, the intercellular spaces are nil. Blood vessels are absent but nerve supply may be present high regeneration capacity is there then if we observe epithelial cell the plasma membrane can be said to be apical or lateral or basal. The pipal plasma membrane is exposed either to environment as in case of skin epithelia or body cavity as in case of mucosal epithelia or some body fluids as in case of epithelia of blood vessels and the lymphatic vessels. So this is all about the epithelium. Then these are type 4 collagen fibers. These are type 7 collagen fibers and these are type 3 collagen fibers which are also known as reticular fibers. Here we can observe a loose area. This is known as lamina lucida. Here we can observe an intense area which is lamina densa. So this one is lamina lucida, this is lamina densa and both are forming basal lamina. Below the basal lamina, type 3 collagen fibers or reticular fibers are present. That's why this is known as lamina reticularis. And finally, both basal lamina and the lamina reticularis forms the basement membrane. Now few important points about the basement membrane are this layer is non-cellular. This is non-living layer as cells are not there. It is secreted by the two layers in which uh, it is sandwiched, in between of which it is sandwiched, that is epithelium and the underlying connective tissue. Then it is highly permeable. To nutrients. This is the reason why the high regeneration capacity of epithelium is there in spite of lacking the blood vessels. So these are the underlying connective tissue which are having the blood supply. These are the blood vessels and the nutrition will reach the epithelium by diffusion. 
if we compare these two layers that is lamina lucida and the lamina densa then it is this layer is having less density this layer is having high density we can compare the location it is located just below epithelium while this layer is located above the lamina reticularis if we observe the composition then lamina lucida is having type 4 If we observe the composition then lamina lucida is having glycoproteins plus laminin while if we observe the lamina densa it is having type 4 collagen fibers plus type 7 collagen fibers these are also known as anchoring fibers so the composition final composition of basement membrane becomes it is made up of mucopolysaccharides then glycoproteins because these are present in the lamina lucida and various protein fibers like type 4 collagen fiber type 7 collagen fibers type 7 collagen fibers are basically anchoring fibrils that connect the lamina densa or the basal lamina with the lamina reticularis and type 3 collagen fibers which are also known as Reticular fibers are present in the lamina reticularis. So this is all about the structure of epithelium and the basement membrane. Hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.